Good morning, everyone. Today we discuss about that uh, Williamson synthesis. So here preparation of ethers. Preparation of ethers. So in this case, we are taking the first alkyl halide, which is treated with the sodium or potassium. In general, we are taking sodium salts of alkoxide. Sodium salts of alkoxide. So here it is actually SN2 reaction. So here it is a loss of uh, NAX. Loss of NAX, it from ROR. Shall I write this is R dash? So that it is R dash with a NAX. This is a ether. Ether. So it is actually SN2 reaction favorable. Sometimes in entrance exam, they are asking the question, what is that uh, alkyl halides R dash X uh, reactivity order? So here reactivity order is reactivity order is always uh, primary alkyl halides are more reactive than secondary alkyl halides. Tertiary, in generally, it is less reactive. So one more condition also it is there that uh, aryl halides means it is like a halobenzenes and uh, vinyl halides and this one and uh, bridged head carbons like uh, this one. This type of the halides does not involving does not involving preparation of ethers from Williamson synthesis. Here, these are the no reaction because of here halogen lone pairs involving a resonance. It is not a single bond. It is like acting as a double bond. In this case, also same thing. So here it is a bridged head carbons does not involve in the it does not involve in the react uh, uh, SN two reaction. So here, one more example, I have to check it out. For example, question, they will give the questions like CH3Cl, then here CH3C, CH3, then CH3O minus Na plus. So it is a sodium salt. So here, loss of, here, loss of, loss of, then CH3, then CH3, then CH3, O CH3 plus plus NaCl. For example, same question they will give. Here they are given the tertiary alkyl halide with the sodium methoxide Na plus O CH3. In this case, whenever they will give the tertiary alkyl halides, it is a tertiary alkyl halide. Whenever it is given the tertiary alkyl halide, it is acting as a strong base. So it does not involving a SN2 reaction. It is actually elimination reaction. Elimination reaction because of uh, here that is a bulk size of the alkyl halide. Whenever it is a bulk size of the alkyl halide are there, then loss of HCl, loss of HCl, then CH3, then C, CH2 double bond, then this CH3. In this case, this is acting as a acting as a base. For example, they will give the question. They will give the question, same question they will give in entrance exam, like the CL with the with the CH3 O N A. Then one more is CH3 CL plus then O N A. So here, which one is a, here? Which one is a, which one is which one is involving reaction? Which one is does not involve in the reaction? In this case, it is tertiary here, no reaction. Whereas in this case, it is a primary. So here, loss of NaCl, then it form OCH3. This is actually Williamson synthesis of preparation of ethers. For example, they will give the question, how to prepare the enisol like OCH3. So they will give the two conditions. What are those two conditions? Which one is a favorable? Which one is a non-favorable? For example, the first question, sodium, sodium, Phenoxide with uh, methyl halide. Then second question, that the uh, second one, chlorobenzene with uh, sodium methoxide. So in this case, only one is possible, another one is not possible. In this case, the possibility is in this reaction, so loss of NaCl. This is a uh, possible. But whereas in this case, these are the involving resonance. So that here, it is not favorable. This is a preparation of any soul. So, so you have to check it out which type of the molecule involving involving SN2 reaction with the Williamson synthesis. This is actually SN2 reaction 
So SN2 reaction alkyl halide, it should be smaller size because this is a nucleophile attack to backside. So that uh, we need a small size of the alkyl halide. That's what it is. A primary is more reactive than tech secondary tertiary in generally the bulk size group always involving elimination reaction like this this is an elimination reaction thank you